Hello everyone, welcome to Latin Rite Restoration. What are we doing today? We're faux finishing and let's take a look at this. Look at that. All right, guys, no, that's not the main altar. We installed the main altar, as most of you have already seen the video, or at least you should have. So this is side altar one and it's all done. And if I don't save so myself, looking quite nice. Still needs to be the gold, right? Still need to have the gold put on. But look what we have here. Hey, the twin, side altar number two. So this is what we're going to faux finish today. So you guys are gonna to get to see exactly how the finish was, was, uh, was applied to all of those beautiful pieces that most of you have already seen when we were installing the high altar at St. John the Baptist Catholic Church. So come along with me. Let's do some faux finishing. If you recall, we were using a water-based acrylic paint, uh, which is exactly what we're using from a Home Depot. I, I, it could be from Lowe's, it doesn't matter. It just needs to be a water-based water paint. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and very slightly spritz the front. So the first thing you wanna do is kinda commit to an area. So I'm committing to this area right here above the arches, all right? And I have two different colors here. I have two different colors of gray. I have a light gray and a darker gray. Now what I wanna do, so as I've said before, we, want to, uh, we don't want it to run, but we definitely applied some water to it because what we wanna do is we're gonna exploit the fractal nature of this application. All right, because we need it to go fractal for us. We don't want it running down, once again. As you guys have seen in another video, I should probably put the video in the link. Uh, at this point, you're just going to put it on here randomly. All right. Now, it always helps to look at pictures of marble so you can uh, faithfully represent the look of that marble. Uh, and we end up getting that uh, knowledge just by, like I said, picking one and sticking to it. In this case, it's Kalakata marble. And then, uh, and then just run with it. You can even have some reference pictures, which is how I started out. I always had reference pictures, and I would want to faithfully replicate it. But after a while, you realize that that's really unnecessary. Um, and once you have the vibe, the vibe, <laughs> as the kids say. What I've got here is crinkled up paper. Now we need to work fast because we don't want this to, uh, we don't want this to start drying on us because yes, it's water-based, doesn't matter though. Once, once it dries, see the effect we're going for here? See how it looks broken up? Now using the paper, which is what I'm using right now, is different than using plastic. You may see me use plastic in other situations, but by using the paper, the paper actually soaks up some of the water and helps it to set faster. Now I wanna come back in here and I'm gonna spritz it again. I'm standing back way back here because once again, we don't wanna soak it down and then we don't wanna, because we don't have a problem of it just starts streaking and running. We wanna see it break up very slightly because we're trying, we are by using this water, not only slowing down the drying time, but we're, we're, we're breaking the surface tension or the viscosity of the paint so we can work with it uh, more readily. The overall look, otherwise known as the global look, is something I'm going for, I'm, I'm going for something quite soft in appearance, okay? Because I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about right here, because this is, this is what I'm going for, okay? Now this is actually a darker color that I introduced, I'll do that in a second, as is this, but these areas right here that are done, Try not to try to get out of my own light here. These areas are what we're going for, which is an overall, which is an overall soft appearance. So, so we're starting to dry here. Come in here with a brush. Okay, this is a very, very fluffy brush that I've kind of trained. And what I'm doing is I'm going to soften it even further. Not everywhere. Not everywhere. Once again, this is, this is marble, all right? So it should never be uh, uniform in appearance and it should never be symmetrical, okay? Because that's just not possible with marble because of the way marble is formed. 
as I covered in my last video. Try to get little brush hairs out immediately, get those bristles out of there. Okay. I hope you guys can see what's going on. Got such a beautiful marble effect going on right here. Look at this. Now I only want to soften it up very slightly. Just trying to take some of the, the hardness out of it. Okay, right, just like that. Now the advantage, another advantage of this technique, there's, there's, there's myriad advantages to using this water base. Of course, easy to clean up, easy to work with. But the other thing is, once again, once it is dry, it's dry, dry, right? Just like, you know, you can, you can, paint, the wall, you can paint the wall at home with latex or acrylic water base, but the minute it's dry and it's cured out, if you come back in and you can wipe it with a, a wet rag and it doesn't just wipe the paint off. Same thing here. Once this paint right here completely sets up, I can then come in with my darker color right on top of it without disrupting or smearing around or otherwise disturbing the finish that was already dried. Oh, and miraculously a bunch of stuff got done. It was just a lot of the same. So I just went ahead and uh, carried it over to the entire piece, including the top up there. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the front panel. And if you recall, the front panels, um, they kind of, we wanna have like a focal effect, which a real stone setter, okay, like if this was actually made out of marble, a real stone setter is very selective with you know, the different pieces, because we want to kind of have it bring in and this be kind of neutral and that other side sweep in like that to kind of focus everything, right? We want to do like a center line focal point. We're trying to use these different ley lines and things like that to, uh, to force, to encourage <laughs> someone's eye and things like that. So this wider vision is uh, we want to restore the beauty because we want Catholic churches to look Catholic, frankly. So our, like our altar installation video just is getting just mad hits. And uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of, uh, <laughs> it doesn't have a lot of talking. It has some gorgeous Gregorian chant, uh, which I need, to, uh, I need to go ahead and share my, my link to the Gregorian chant because uh, I, love to, uh, I love to listen to, to what I'm normally doing. All kinds of stuff. I listen to a bunch of talking heads too and podcasts and you know, a lot of this and that, a lot of Catholic stuff. I mean, obviously that makes sense, right? Um, you know, I listen to a lot of programming, but mostly I, I like to listen to uh, instrumental music or Gregorian chant. And I can tell you something about Gregorian chant and that is, that's the music of the Catholic Church. That is the music of the Catholic Church. See, these little, like, there's like little things that appear just when you're manipulating it. And uh, you got to keep an eye out for those really cool features that you don't just come through and just wipe them out. Just a few hours ago, this was just a white piece of beautiful furniture. <laughs> 